Okay, here we are sheltering in place and ordering takeout. One of the most nutritious and healthy uh, foods that we could be ordering is sushi. But most Americans don't really understand how to order takeout sushi over the telephone. All they really know is California roll. And so those rolls, the dragon roll and all, those are those don't exist in uh, Japan. They're just for American consumption. So I wanted to acquaint you with the core of Japanese restaurants. There's several things about them that are, I think, compelling. One is that the menu, although it may seem unusual to you, is very standardized. The things I'm telling you now, it doesn't really matter whether you're in Cleveland or Miami, these same menus will, will be uh, there for you. Second thing about sushi, which I really like, is that it's for lovers. And so when you order sushi, it always comes with two pieces, one for your significant other and one for you. So uh, let's, let's get right into it. I've got a great big bag here that I got from Jojo's Sushi in uh, Santa Rosa. And I'm going to start assuming that some of you are a little squeamish about eating raw fish. And so I'm gonna start with some of the things that I got that are cooked. The, the easy starter sushi is this, it's called tamago. It, it's just an omelet and it's a little bit sweet and it has a little soy sauce in it. Now you'll notice the way these are set up. This is called, as opposed to the maki, the rolls that most of you are used to, this is called nigiri sushi and it's just always done the same way with a little sweetened rice and a belt of seaweed and then the piece of sushi on top and, and this particular one, as I said, is just a cooked egg. And so everybody likes these things. Before I get uh, too much further, I want to take some of this wasabi, which is basically horseradish. And it's there partly because it kills bacteria. We, we like to dip a lot of this stuff in a little soy sauce and, uh, and then we mix in this, this wasabi. And that's our dipping sauce. So we'll just take our little soy sauce packets and put them in there. If you think that soy sauce is a little heavy for you, there's another product called Bragg's Aminos that's kind of like a, a Calvin Klein soy sauce. This stuff here that's, that's lighter and it uh, is not made from soy. So... I, I kind of like to mix the two together a little bit, kind of 50-50. And then we just want to mix that wasabi in so that we get a little bit of extra spice. And then, and then we'll take our tobago. Now I'm kind of a low carb guy, so I tend not to eat the rice. Uh, and so that's one of the great things about sushi is that it can be all protein. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty yummy. The second cooked sushi, this is unagi. And you don't have to remember these names. I'm, I'm going to uh, put a, a list up for you at the end of this. Uh, but this is a... This is a barbecued eel, and uh, this gooey stuff on top is a, a little bit of sweet sauce, and so you don't need soy on here because it already has has soy. Mm. Mm. Blended, a little bit of sesame seed on that, and no. Uh, See how it goes with it. Sound Ron has some acidity. Now this here, you may or may not be able to find, but I really like it. And you hear, this is a, a type of sushi where you have a belt of seaweed here. This is kelp. It's very good for you. And then what this is, is crab, which is called kane. And underneath, you've got you got your rice so it's uh mixed with a little bit of mayonnaise and uh jojo's they call this crab special so 
You may be able to talk them into that if that's a, something that they carry. Now, one more thing that I find really delicious, if you can get it, ask and see if they have any, this is called hamachi kama. Now, hamachi means yellowtail, fish, and kama means collar. So this is a cooked collar of yellowtail, and it's absolutely delicious. It's cooked. And if you can't find that, you can get one, maybe also ask if they have a salmon collar. And so salmon is called sake, kind of like the drink. So ask, if they don't have hamachi kama, ask for sake kama. And uh, just, just delightful cooked fish. Now we're going to get into the names of some of the raw fish. Now, you're not going to find these, or you shouldn't find these, at your supermarket. Because it's very important for the fish to be fresh cut by somebody that knows what they're doing. And so I'm just going to take you through some of my favorites. Now, a lot of times you'll see maguru, which is a, a red, it's tuna. Here, I've got, the, got some tuna pokey here. So this is what, what maguru looks like. And this one has sesame seeds and, and, and onions and stuff on it and a pokey sauce. But I almost never order maguro because I just don't think it's very interesting. What I like much better is yellowtail. And so that's called hamachi. Just like hamachi kama, it's the same fish. And now let me, let me show you how you eat sushi for real. The trick is to put the fish down on top of your tongue. So you don't eat it this way, you eat it this way. So you put a little bit of dipping sauce on there and then I'm just gonna go. Mm. Take a bite. Oh, it's such an interesting fish if they can get it fresh. Fantastic. A little bit of, a little bit of sauron to wash that down. Okay, so that's how much And then what I've done here, I just love to do this. This is fresh sake, so it's fresh salmon. And this is smoked salmon. And I, I love to compare the two. So you just ask for fresh sake and uh, smoked sake. When you want to cleanse the palate, you've got this pickled ginger to play with. It's a little bit sweet and uh, just great for uh, washing down that, that fish. Okay, now I'm going to, I don't know if you can talk them into doing this or not, but this is one of my favorite things to get. This is kind of a, uh, this is kind of a kelp ice cream cone. And it's called a hand roll. It has some rice in the bottom. And then what I asked them to put in here is uh, salmon skin. So they take the, the uh, skin off the bottom of the salmon and they grill it. So this is another cooked food. And then I have asked them to put it together. I find that the flavor of salmon skin is pulled out by avocado. That avocado is very fatty. And so it kind of delivers the flavor. And then I've got some cucumber in here for crunch. And then I have these little, uh, uh, that's flying fish roe, which is called tobigo. And so here's what you say. You say, I would like a, a salmon skin hand roll with cucumber, avocado, and tobigo. And uh, tobigo, uh, they're like, fishy pop rocks. So when I bite into this, uh, I'm going to get these little tiny explosions of, of, of flavor from the tobigo. Mm. Well, all those things together just produce it. They're really delicious. This would be a specialty item, but they will know what you're talking about. And, uh, as I said, all of these are, are standard dishes, so I hope that they will, they will become part of your 
sheltering in place, very good for you and, and good for your relationship with your significant other.